If you like this video, please consider supporting the Otokana channel over on Patreon. Thank you. In this episode, we are taking a close look at Diopside Genuine by Daniel Smith. Diopside, the mineral, comes in a wide range of colors from light to dark green, gray, yellow, light blue, purple, and white. Besides being used as a gemstone, Diopside has a very important use as one of the indicator minerals they look for when people are in search of diamonds. Many diamond deposits have been found using diopside and other indicator minerals in their hunt. Diopside Genuine the paint has a gorgeous strong deep green color with no shimmer or sparkle. Diopside has a lovely wide range of values and it is easy to re-wet and get lovely saturated colors from. Daniel Smith's website says, Diopside Genuine is a rich gemstone green you reach for time and again. Also known as Russian Emerald, the mineral is usually seen in fine jewelry. We are proud to be the first to offer it as a watercolour. Exquisite in hue, it brushes out evenly from deep bottle green through clear Kelly green to palest mint. The chromium rich stone from which its ground is green from brownish inclusions. In washes, hint of brown mineral settle out, adding as an earthly nuance perfect for landscape work. It is a series three color, excellent in light vastness, transparent, low staining and granulating. We are back, the paints have dried and this is Diopside Genuine. It is a rich green color that granulates heavily. When it granulates, as you can see in this gradated wash, the granulation that occurs becomes this black dark color that separates out from the green. It has a wide range of value and as you can see it does a great job of creating a wash without any cauliflowering happening. I go pretty hard when I do these three swatches in particular in terms of just adding a lot of water to it way more than you would do in a normal painting so that you can see if a color doesn't cauliflower in this test then you're not going to have any problems with the cauliflowering in your normal painting practice in terms of opacity it is very transparent, which is the same as its classification by Daniel Smith. And if you like to have a closer look of this sheet and any other test sheets I do in this series, then do please check out patreon.com forward slash autocano. That's where I upload all my high res scans of these test sheets. In terms of lifting, it is classified as low staining. However, I would be more inclined to call this a mid staining color because it is very hard to get it back to white and you get this green color that will not shift. And I've seen other colors classified as mid staining do this. So I would say mid staining. In terms of glazing, I think this color does a great job despite its heavily granulating feature by creating clear layers in the glazing. However, it is granulating color and when you layer granulating color, the granulation gets stronger as you can see here. And a lot of the time, it doesn't create the most pretty pattern when you layer it. In terms of gauzing, it does a fantastic job. Again, because the color has this two elements, the green color and the dark granulating color. The dark granulation collects in the gauze and then you get a background of this bright green color. As for salting, it does react to salt. However, it's not necessarily the prettiest result in the world. The granulating black color does gather around the salt and create a texture. However, you won't get a feathering effect from this color. 
in terms of blooming it does bloom it does create these feathering effects so if you want to create texture using this technique you can definitely do so now let's take a look at how this color mixes with other colors and for reminder these 12 colors are the colors I mixed the diopside with and this is what they look like. Diopside being a bright green color, its complementary color is going to lie somewhere between the quinacridone rose and the quinacridone violet color and I would say that in this case the quinacridone violet is the perfect complementary color because it mutes out the diopside to the most neutral color. This colour doesn't play very well with the yellows and the oranges here. However, it does a fantastic job mixing from the ultramarine violets through to the blues and then the greens. I wouldn't necessarily call this a good mixing colour. However, I do think that this texture with the vermilion of it being a slight green but with an orangey brown texture might be useful somewhere in a landscape. Now let's take a look at how diopside compares with other colors. The first color I pulled out is the Jedi Genuine, which I will be giving you a close look at in the next episode. I would say that they are quite similar. However, the Jedi is a lot darker when you start painting with it than the diopside is and it doesn't have the bright greenness of the diopside either. With the Holbein greens there's a big jump between the really bright colors and the more muted greens and the diopside sits somewhere in between these brights and the more muted greens like the terra verde and the green grey. I also pulled up the Daniel Smith green appetite and this is definitely has more yellow in it than the diopside has. Then we take a look at the Sennelia greens that are closest to the diopside and the brightest green is the hookers green which is too bright whereas the forest green is too dark. Chromium green oxide is a opaque color whereas the diopside is a very transparent color as well as diopside being a brighter green than the chromium oxide green. Sap green is too yellow. And then we have Daniel Smith's chromium green oxide, which is a lot more granulating color than the chromium green oxide by Snellier. However, this again still has more yellow in it and it is more muted than the diopside by Daniel Smith. There is one color that I wish I had in this chart, which is the Daniel Smith Hooker's Green, just to see how it compares. So I'm sorry that I don't have this color. So all in all, I would say that the Jedi Genuine is probably the closest in hue. However, you'll see in the next episode that the Jedi Green is a much deeper, more foresty green color than the Diopside is. If you'd like to try the diopside shown in this episode and several other colors, but you're not quite ready to invest in whole tubes and you'd like to try some dot samples, then this month's Patreon dot card reward is the second part of the Daniel Smith Primatech range with Amethyst, Soda Light, Kingman Green Genuine, which isn't even on there. 240 color dot card because it is expensive amazonite diopside serpentine green appetite and zoocyte and it comes with plenty of paint to really test out those colors if you like to receive this dot card then all you have to do is head on over to patreon.com forward slash autocano and sign up to appropriate tiers on my patreon page this stock card is on offer for this month, so do make sure you are signed up before the end of the month and this dot card will be yours. So that was Diopside Genuine. What did you think of this colour? Me personally, I don't really like it when the granulation is an unexpected colour to the main mass tone of the paint. Like in this paint where 
It is a green color, however, it granulates out to a black. So I probably would not be putting this in my palette. However, I do have to say it is a very easy color to work with. It's a great color if you do a lot of washes and you don't want to worry so much about the water control because you can add so much water in your washes and you won't get any cauliflowering happening so if you are looking for a good transparent heavily granulating green for your palette this might be a good option for you so what did you think of this color would you like to try this for yourself do let me know in the comments below and if dioxide is a very valued member of your palette, then please do also let us know in the comments down below how you like to use this color. If this video was useful to you, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!